Paul Furlong from the uh, School of European Studies at Cardiff University. Um, there's a, a lot one could say a, a, a about the ideas that have already come up, but, the, but at this point, the only, the only direct comment I, I want to make is to say how much I agree with Francesco that the issue goes deeper th than, than Berlusconi, and I think it is a perfectly logical conclusion that he draws, which I also agree with, uh, and this is, this is uh, uh, contrary to Paolo Sobacchi's uh, position, uh, th that Italy is not an exception. Berlusconi does not simply come out of the ether, as it were, uh, as a result of his great entrepreneurial spirit and his imagination and his talents, which are undoubted. <coughs> underlying, the, uh, underlying Berlusconi's emergence uh, and longevity and impact is uh, a crisis, a political crisis, of mobilization and participation that, that affects not just Italy, but, but many other countries in the developed world. And I think to, to see Italy, uh, I don't know if this is what Paolo wanted to say, but to see Italy as, as suffering from this uniquely seems to me not entirely correct. Of course, it's, it's true to say that it's difficult to imagine uh, a Berlusconi-type figure emerging in, in, in Britain, but that's partly to do with the, political, the different political cultures, the way in which this, this decline of, of uh, the, the traditional mass parties uh, in the developed world has occurred and the different impact it has, in the, it has in the different historical context and the different political cultures that we find ourselves in individual circumstances. But overall, many countries in Europe are affected, and indeed it happens elsewhere in North America, are, are affected by the decline of the, the capacity of mass mobilization of the traditional parties and underlying that are broader economic factors it seems to me. Italy is not unique in that and therefore it seems to me that the solution lies in finding new ways, new forms of political participation uh, in, uh, in, in developed countries. That, if we're looking for a doppio di Berlusconi, what happens after Berlusconi, a positive solution uh, for Italy, as a positive solution in different contexts, with different figures in other countries, uh, has to be to find new forms of political participation that really actually work. It, it, it's not just Berlusconi, and we, sh we shouldn't personalise it like that. That's my comment. Yes, thanks, Paul. You can, anybody else want to come in? If you can move the mic around, great. And do join us, Jim, at the front. We'll find a space for you. Okay. Hello. Um, first of all, thank you for... Uh, your just say who you are, please, thanks. No, no, no it's, it's okay, it's just for recording purposes. Just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, thank you for your uh, presentation this morning. I found them very interesting. I'm uh, Raffaella Bianchi from the Department of Politics and the History of Florida University. And uh, I, I just wanted to, I have a few comments and a few questions for some of you. Um, I agree with what uh, Francesco Grillo said this morning about uh, about two things. When he says that uh, uh, the opposition should, or the debate should not be about Berlusconi in Italy, I agree with him. Just because I remember that uh, Berlusconi is a man of media and advertisement, and uh, uh, Publitalia was his company, his main company, which means advertising in Italy or something like that, uh, had a um, motto, um, a sort of what we, which was, um, you should talk about the product, either badly or in a good way, but uh, you should talk about it. The, the most important thing is that there's a spotlight on the product. When he entered into politics, he became the product itself, and uh, it's not that uh, Forza Italia or this political party came out from one day to the other, it's all his empire of advertising that got into that. What is particularly interesting about, uh, and what's the exception, I think, I totally agree with uh, Ferlo when he says that this is a, a huger picture in which there is more uh, attention to the personalization of politics than to political parties. But what's the exception of Italy is that there is a, a thing called Berlusconianism, a culture which is bigger than Berlusconi itself, which is more important and which is pervasive, a culture of, um, which is machism, 
Uh, yesterday I read on Lunita, this uh, live station newspaper, that Italy is 70, 70 seconds, 72, in the list uh, for gender after Rwanda, right? And I, I still have this impression when I go home that the things are not going <laughs> well. Uh, um, I also agree on the fact that um, uh, so maybe we should stop talking about Berlusconi in the sense that uh, the left should set the political agenda of discussion. It's not about uh, they are looking for a compromise and discussion with the with the with Berlusconi party, but that's not what the grassroots want. The grassroots want that they took again the the liberty, the freedom of setting the discussion. Uh, um, taking the, um, the main issues that are coming out at the moment, which has a lot to do with fear and with the crisis. And, uh, that's, uh, when, and that's the, the, the first thing that I agree with. Uh, the second thing is about the crisis. And uh, this is my, my question from, for Daniele uh, Albertazzi. When did you do that? Um, I'm interested in, in that um, uh, pools that you did in Pontida. When did you do that? It's just not, because um, what interests yeah. me, I'm from the north, and I believe that the Northern League is not uh, Forza Italia, it's not uh, Berlusconi Party, it's a completely different uh, set of people. And uh, the crisis is hitting very hard in the area where the Northern League is strong, like uh, the Brescia. Brescia has a high... Um, you know, metal mechanic, um, like uh, sort of high heavy industry. And uh, all these people are now without a job or with little prospect. I wonder w what they will vote at the next election. And I wonder if it's that's the reason why the Democratic Christians are trying to get uh, again to build up a party together, because these were the areas where the Democratic Christians were strong before. So I, I don't know that the Northern League, uh, yes, gives the, the, um, the balance, but what the, the grassroots of the Northern League is interested in is real federalism now, or is more the, the crisis and uh, the financial crisis, and how much the Northern League can, you know, can work for that. So that was my impression. On, and, uh, and then, uh, I don't know, I just have a, um, sorry, the last um, my question is not provocative, but it's much more, um, for Paula Subaki, but don't 